the problems we have with prayer are always heart problems. Okay. Because we don't engage the heart. Okay. That's the difficulty. So this is the whole thing is like when we meditate, when we think about God, when we, when we, when we dwell with God in his scriptures, it awakens love within us then. And sometimes you see, this is why it's very important for us. It's not just about emptying the mind. It's about filling the mind with all those mm. good, noble, pure, and holy, as St. Paul would say. Okay, so therefore, you asked a question much earlier, which I didn't really reply to, well, not fully, in the sense of how does someone begin to meditate? Okay, yeah. And in response to your question, or your, your, your thoughts there about, you know, the, the multimedia and all that, there's very good things there as well, too, which can actually help us with Christian meditation as well, too. Because sometimes it's very difficult when we start to be able to do it ourselves. Sometimes we need to be led into it. I find that even myself, even though I'm practiced at meditating, sometimes I find it easier when I'm being led by somebody in meditation than when I have to lead myself. Mm. Sometimes what I do is sometimes I even put things on kind of on um, an audio for myself. So it prepares me, I'm listening to myself and it leads me easier into the meditation in that sense. Because really, the key thing in meditation, the key thing is to move beyond the thoughts, beyond the feelings, to the deepest part of yourself. So sometimes to do that, it's very good to do an exercise, like just simply become aware of what you're thinking, leave them to one side, I'll return to them later, but I'm going to go deeper. Go down to what you're feeling at this moment in time, Think of just what you're feeling, leave it to one side, I can return to it later, then go deeper to that deep place within you. Okay, that deep place, which in the Bible is called your heart. Mm. It's not the physical organ of your heart. It's the spirit, the deepest place within you, where God is already present, because through baptism, God has made his home in us. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit dwell within us through baptism. The Trinity is already present within us. So meditation, Christian meditation, is to get to that place to become aware and attentive to God's presence already within us and where Jesus is already praying on our behalf to the Father. But we can only do that when we're connected to the Holy Spirit. Mm. It brings us into that place where we can become present to God. So that's why it's important to know that God dwells within us in the deepest part of ourselves. So it's mm. trying to get to that place and to live from there then. That's one thing. But it's also important to remember, and this is why it's very different from any kind of new age practice, because in new age, a new age really, the whole thing about new age really is God is put to one side. On one side you don't need God because you've become yeah. God yourself. Okay, yeah. so therefore people talk about uh, finding the divine in themselves and then being God, okay. That's not true with Christian meditation. We are never God. Yeah. We participate in the life of God through baptism, through the Holy Spirit that's poured into our hearts. So God is always other. There's an otherness to God, but we share in Jesus' relationship with the Father through the Spirit that's poured into our hearts. So therefore, we've become divinized through the relationship we experience because of the Holy Spirit and God. We participate in Jesus' relationship to the Father in that sense. So what we are actually tuning into in Christian meditation, therefore, is precisely what we have received, this gift of being in God through the Spirit of, which has been poured into our hearts. So therefore, when we talk about Christian meditation, it's important to realize that God is dwelling within us. Mm. But it's even more important to realize that we do not contain God. We dwell within God because God is greater than our heart. And we're only a drop in the ocean of God's love. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.